It was just like nothing I had ever seen before. It was vibrant, it was exciting. Something very special. It's the arts equivalent of the Rugby Sevens. The noise and the music, it just takes you away from everyday life. An amazing opportunity and an amazing experience. Really, really cool. There's nothing like it. It's everything you could imagine in arts in one place, in one city. Well, it's an amazing festival because it covers every different kind of art you can think of. It's a really unique chance to bring world-class acts and experiences to our own community and to offer access to that to as many people as possible. But it's also an opportunity, I think, for New Zealand to offer its own voice on a world stage. We've got something that's really unique, really distinctive, and something I think that's important to offer to the rest of the world. The festival for me was the beginning of Wellington becoming known nationally and internationally as an event city. We have a unique physical environment in our city that brings together a sense of community and a buzz around the time of the festival. There's just this great sort of party atmosphere, real anticipation, and it feels very alive. We wouldn't be the coolest little capital in the world without an outstanding event like the International Arts Festival. So hard to keep the world from the door. The festivals have all been really successful, both in terms of the art and the reviews, but also, of course, in terms of the economic impact. In the 2012 festival, $56 million was spent in Wellington during that festival. That's really successful for the local businesses too. A huge number of turnout every two years to attend a huge number of events. We hope to engage every member of the community so that they can experience the festival in some meaningful way. Our free events are very accessible, but I also think that we've been quite clever in our ticketing strategy that going to the festival can be an achievable experience. It's also something that has an amazing sense of community around it. You get this wonderful thing of older people and young people going to see the same thing. It's an extraordinary achievement for a city this size and for us to continue that is a real privilege. It inspires artists here to an immeasurable degree. We're not way down the bottom of the world, we're part of this international thing and there's all these New Zealand artists working with international artists and meeting each other and it's very inspiring. festival happens, that's when you get to meet all these internationals, but what the festival has offered is actually allowing us the space to actually experiment and pioneer ideas or try something new. Our legacy really is producing the great New Zealand work and the talents there, playwrights, composers, choreographers, visual artists, but we just have to nurture and develop it so that we can see it at its best. For any potential sponsor, here's an opportunity to show leadership, to match your values with the festival's values, and have the opportunity to showcase your brand along the very best in the arts and cultural scene. The festival gives sponsors the best seats in the house, as well as hospitality and leverage opportunities. It's also good for sponsors' community engagement and to be seen as a highly valued corporate citizen. There's lots of upsides for sponsors. get a, a chance to entertain clients, or they get the chance for their name to be associated with something absolutely unique and special. And then they get the opportunity of enrolling their staff members uh, in their organisation in it. I simply must do something for these poor little dears. The Dominion Post loves being part of the festival. Every festival we try and devote as much space as we can because we know that our readers absolutely soak up every word. But it's also an opportunity for us to thank the people who really do support us. There's nothing nicer than taking them to enjoy a performance and seeing them with the big smile on their face when they come out of the show. At Weta Digital we wanted to put our name next to something that was of an international quality.
and this one ticked all the boxes. Wellington's been good to us, good to our crew, our, our wanting to give something back and engage in a sponsorship that also gave our crew access to involvement as well. I get to work really closely with our sponsors and our partners in creating new ways to leverage their partnership. So an example of that in 2012 would be Telstra Clear Festival TV. So we had a camera crew, they were filming every day of the festival. It was edited and out on our YouTube channel the following day and all of that was pushed through Telstra Clear's own channels too. Festival TV, particularly around broadband, was an obvious angle for us. It spoke to what's happening in TV today with TV on demand. It was an incredible behind the scenes insight into the buzz of festival. The effort that goes in from the people that are organising this, I think uh, they do a fantastic job and I'm sure that any new sponsor is going to find uh, that they're going to get the same sort of support that we did as a company. This is a partnership that we believe is great for the paper, great for its profile and great for our readers. Well, I can't see the Dominion Post never being connected to the festival. It's part of our DNA. Well, 2014, we're going to do more. I think it's going to take us to a whole new level. So 2014 is going to be shaped into a programme that marries our desire to bring the best possible international artists to Wellington, and alongside that to showcase some of what is interesting in contemporary New Zealand arts practice and in the issues that are shaping our society today. One thing I'd like to do is offer our audiences a different way of approaching the festival and that's through participating by remembering that in our own community there are people who sing and dance and do amazing craft in their everyday life. So I'm hoping that we can create some moments that invite people in to lose themselves and show off a bit perhaps in the festival themselves. Yeah.